it's officially spring now. At least that's what the calendar says. And we've just been through our second winter with this heat pump. So I thought I'd do an update on how our heat pump has performed over winter. How does it compare to last winter? Have we used more energy or less? What about the costs? How has the weather impacted energy use? In this video, I'm gonna give you all the detail about our heat pump over the last few months. My name is Tom, and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. So we live in a Victorian terrace that has double glazing, it's got loft insulation and it's got an extension built at the rear of the house to modern building standards. It's not the most well insulated home, but it isn't as bad as many other homes around the UK. So how did a heat pump perform here in this Victorian terrace and how did it perform compared to last winter? Have we improved the efficiency at all? So last year, the heat pump delivered 7,669 kilowatt hours of heat between the 1st of December 2021 and the 20th of March 2022. To deliver that much heat, it used 2,666 kilowatt hours of electricity, meaning for winter 21-22, it had an efficiency of 287.6% or a COP of 2.88. So what about this year? Well, the heat pump delivered a little bit less heat this year, 718 kilowatt hours less over that same time period, at 6,951 6, kilowatt hours in total. To do this, it used 263 kilowatt hours less electricity at 2,404 total kilowatt hours for the winter. So this year we had an efficiency of 289.1% or a COP of 2.89. So we called for a bit less heat, but we also used a little bit less electricity. It was more or less as efficient, half a percent better. I should say that we think we were probably a little bit more comfortable this year but that's difficult to quantify. So let's just assume that we were just as comfortable as last year. But was this year warmer or cooler than last year? That will have an impact on the amount of heat we asked for, as well as an impact on the efficiency of the system. So let's go back to our friend degree days. If we check the degree days for the last couple of years, we can see how much heat was needed and do a bit of a different calculation. So between the 1st of December and the 20th of March, 21 to 22, there were 1,101 degree days at the weather station nearest to me. But for the same dates this last winter, there were more. There were 1,182 degree days, 7% more. So we delivered less heat, we used less electricity, but we should have delivered 7% more heat. So that means our system is more efficient this year than last, how much more? For winter last year, the heat pump used 2.42 kilowatt hours of electricity for every degree day. And this year, it used 2.03 kilowatt hours for every degree day, which is actually 19% more efficient, which is amazing. And this could have meant that if the weather was the same as last year, this year, our heat pump might have been running at an efficiency of around 340%. The weather really makes a difference to how air source heat pumps perform. For our system, although this winter was cooler than last year, the heat pump actually performed a little bit better. And if it had been the same weather as last year, it would have performed much better. I've actually heard people say that this winter has been milder than many before. And if that's the case, we might expect to see lower efficiency, maybe much lower efficiency next year. We'll have to see and I'm sure I'll update on here. But what does all this mean for our emissions this winter? I mean that's the whole reason of moving to a heat pump is to reduce emissions linked to heat. So how much less would the heat pump have emitted when compared to a normal gas boiler? Well using 2,404 kilowatt hours of electricity would have emitted just over 500 kilograms of CO2 over the winter. To deliver the same amount of heat using a gas boiler we would have emitted just over 1,400 kilograms of CO2, 1.4 tonnes. So a heat pump reduced our emissions over winter by about 65%, which is great. And that's the whole reason we've done this. And as the electricity grid continues to reduce in emissions, this will just get better and better and better. Because we've electrified our heat, as the grid decarbonizes, our emissions will also de reduce over the next few years. 
And finally, what does all this mean for our costs? If we were on the price guarantee rates where I live, we would have been paying about 34 pence per kilowatt hour for electricity. So heating this winter would have cost me about 817 pounds. For the same heat, a gas boiler at 10.2 pence per kilowatt hour would have cost us 787 pounds. So this winter, our costs could have been 29 pounds 50 less with a gas boiler, but I'm not on the price guarantee. Instead, since December, we've been on a time of use tariff designed for heat pumps. It's called Octopus Cozy. I did a video about it. You can have a look on my channel for that video. And over the last few months, our average rate has been around 28 to 29 pence per kilowatt hour. At 29p, our costs have actually been just under 700 pounds. So we've saved around 90 pounds versus a gas boiler. That is fantastic news. So that's a heat pump in a Victorian terrace, keeping us warm over winter and saving us around 90 pounds when compared to a gas boiler. Well, that old dink dunk do. And we don't even have solar panels yet. And our subscription to Ripple Energy hasn't even kicked in yet. So it will get cheaper in the future. 90 pounds isn't a saving that's gonna pay back the installation costs of a heat pump, but it certainly helps over the winter. So what do you reckon? What questions do you have about heat pumps? Would you ever consider installing one? If so, what's the plan? This winter, we have lower emissions, two thirds lower, and we've had lower costs, 90 pounds lower than if we had heated via a gas boiler. 